Welcome back to What's Now. What is the state of American energy now in 2020? How will this affect jobs and climate change? Well, I spoke with the president of the American Petroleum Institute, and he clued me in on all of this and more. Natural gas and oil touches virtually every facet of our life, from heating our homes and fueling transportation to life-saving medical devices and even cosmetics at the drugstore. The new State of American Energy report has been released, and Mike Somers, president and CEO of the American Petroleum Institute, is joining us today to discuss the results. Thanks for talking with us, Mike. Christine, great to be with you. So tell me more about the State of American Energy in 2020. So we released this report annually. It's called the State of American Energy. You can find it at api.org. Uh, this is a report truly on American energy leadership. The United States leads the world in oil production, in natural gas production, and by the way, in environmental performance. Emissions continue to go down from all of our operations. So what does oil and natural gas production mean for jobs and companies in this country? The United States uh, currently has 10.9 million Americans working in the oil and natural gas industry. Uh, those are 10.9 million great paying jobs. Uh, we're looking for more employees here. We're looking for data scientists. We're looking for geologists. We're looking for uh, people who are interested in the sciences, in the sciences, because this is a high tech field where we need more uh, hardworking Americans in these positions. So what type of steps are being made in this industry that are taking to be global energy leaders and to take on the challenges of climate change? That's a tall order. It is a tall order and it is one that we take very, very seriously. We know that the climate is changing. We know that man is contributing to a changing climate and we're ready to step up and lead. As I said earlier, we lead the world in environmental performance. No country has done more to uh, lower their emissions than the United States, uh, and we continue to improve our environmental performance. Uh, what we need and what we're, we're talking to our lawmakers about is how do we incentivize new programs to capture carbon that is emitted into the atmosphere so that we can continue to lower that environmental footprint. So we're working with Congress now, we're working with state legislators as well uh, to make sure that we're continuing our, to improve our environmental performance. You know, this is a big year on the campaign trail. How will that impact the American economy and consumers? You know, what we're really concerned about right now, Christine, is there's a lot of rhetoric uh, on the campaign trail. Uh, a lot of people talking about some very damaging things that they could be doing to the American economy uh, if some of their proposals go through. For example, some presidential candidates are talking about banning a technology called hydraulic fracturing and horizontal drilling which is the way that we extract these resources from the ground. Um, and if those proposals were to go, to go into effect, we have a study that shows that almost 7 million jobs will be lost in the American economy. Uh, household energy prices will skyrocket. And by the way, our energy security will go down because we'll be more dependent on energy from overseas. And I don't think anybody wants those three things to happen. What exactly does U.S. energy leadership mean for U.S. consumers? Well, what it means is lower energy costs. I mean, you think about all the volatility in today's world. You think about what just happened in Iran, for example. Could you imagine if we were still dependent on an overseas oil cartel for our energy? Uh, a decade ago, prices would have surged during, during this volatile time. Instead, prices have remained relatively stable. That is because of American energy leadership and because of what innovation has happened in the oil field. And we're proud of that leadership, and so should every American consumer and voter. Where can we get more information about everything we've talked about today? If you want to learn more, go to api.org, api.org. Thank you so much, Mike, for this educational interview all about the state of American energy in 2020. Thanks, Christine.